Zips Football Weekly with Tom Arth. Presented by Wentz Financial Group. Investment management for your lifetime. Hosted by Joe Dunn. Contributing partners include Summa Health. It's your health. Let's own it together. Miller Lite. It's Miller time. Hilton Akron Fairlawn. Proud to be the host hotel of Zips Football. And the Spaghetti Warehouse. Famous for its 15-layer lasagna. Hello again, everyone. Welcome to the weekly edition of Zips Football Weekly with head coach Tom Arth. My name is Joe Dunn, and of course, the program brought to you each week by our friends at the Wentz Financial Group. Well, the Zips right back on the road this week. They'll fly east out to Massachusetts to take on the Minutemen of UMass. We'll have a little bit on UMass later in the program. But let's bring in head coach Tom Arth. And coach, even though it was a tough loss, there were some positives on Saturday for the second straight week. I thought your special teams played very well. You had some opportunities to score, but uh, now you move on to UMass. But tell us a little bit about your thoughts on that Troy game. Yeah, absolutely. I think they're, you know, you're always looking for the positives. Sure. And, you know, sometimes, you know, you, you know it, it gets, it gets, it, you get tired of just talking about the positives and, and you want the results. But um, I think at the same time, too, is, you know, we've, we've never been a group that's, um, you know, put all of our emphasis and put all our focus on what the result is. We are much more driven by um, how we do things and the process that it takes to, to be successful. And um, while there were so many positives, yeah. as you mentioned, our kicking game, uh, we played really well on special teams. Uh, two weeks in a row, which has been really exciting for our team to, to see. Um, defensively, um, you know, we, we didn't give up big plays, yeah. um, you know, which has kind of plagued us the last couple of weeks. And um, Troy was certainly an offense that created a lot of explosive plays. And I think that, um, you know, defensively, that was a big part of our game plan going in was prevent those explosive plays and get them to third down. And unfortunately, uh, we weren't able to get off the field yeah. on third down. We put them in some third and longs and uh, they converted um, to their to their credit. And offensively, the, the best thing uh, that we saw on Saturday was our ability to run the football. Right. Um, you you know, doesn't show up in the stats. Um, you know, there were there were some other factors, uh, limited limited plays, and you know some. 18-yard losses on, you know, on, on, a, on a miscue, on a snap, things like that that affected the numbers. But, you know, the efficiency in our run game was really good. And, you know, we watched it as quarterbacks today. And, you know, it's like, doesn't that, you know, you just hand that ball off and it spits out for 15 yards and it's just, it makes you feel so sure. good. It gives you, it gives you such a great relief. Um, so, you know, that's something we got to continue to do. We got to continue to build on and continue to emphasize and, you know, continue to you know, work on the mistakes that we're making, um, focus in on those and realize that, you know, every play is critical yeah. and you never know what those plays are. They're going to make the difference in the outcome of the game and you got to play every play uh, like it's the one that's going to define the outcome. Yeah. Made a little bit of a change, I think, in the offensive line. You had Brandon Consul come in and play center. Did that help a little bit in that run game or not? You know, I think it did. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, Brandon uh, certainly, you know, did a great job. He's done yeah. a great job for us all year and um, you know, kind of getting him at center, um, right. you know, helped us out. You know, it definitely did. And, um, you know, I think, you know, more importantly, it was just, you know, it was a team effort. It was a group effort. Sure. Um, coaching staff, players alike that, you know, really invested a lot of time and energy into thinking about, um, you know, what we can do uh, to, to help ignite the, the run game. And, um, you know, I think we did that and we, we need to get better and we need to continue to improve in that area. But we took a, t took a step in the right direction. Sure. OK, let's go back to InfoCision Stadium on Saturday afternoon. Our highlights this week brought to you by ESPN Plus. Coach, you win the toss and you want the football. We did, you know, wanted to uh, wanted to get off to a great start and unfortunately, um, you know, got sacked on second down and uh, put us in the third and long. We, you know, executed a screen that they tackled, um, you know, but, uh, you know, came back out. Robbie came in for a couple series, um, did a good job, had another great run on the sideline. Uh, you know, we told Robbie, like, we're just going to start calling him B.O.B., uh, violent on the boundary. Um, he's uh, he's playing. He's playing uh, really physically, which is, which is good to see. You know, Troy, their first possession, they go nine plays, 61 yards, and take a 7 to nothing lead. But uh, they come out again and start moving the football. That's, I think, their second possession. And then uh, we're going to get the football coach and uh, start doing some things to tie up the football game. Yeah, you know, there, there, you saw an example there. There were a couple times where they put the ball on the ground that we didn't take advantage of. This was a huge play. This was after uh, the fumbled snap. Right. 
uh, on our end and for, for our defense to come up big, to get a big interception in the, uh, in the end zone, to return it out to the 40 was huge. And again, this is where the growth of our team needs to right. take place. And hey, offense, like we get that opportunity. It's seven nothing, like we gotta go put points on the board. That was Sean Featherstone, the senior out of Pittsburgh who got the pick there and brought it back 40 yards out to the 40. So you had a couple good things happen early. Yeah, we did. And, you know, you saw Alvin there making a great tackle. He played really well for us. Um, you know, this was, uh, this was a start of a, uh, of a really good drive, um, you know, for our team. And, um, you know, it resulted ultimately, you know, in, in, in putting, putting points on the board and tying up the game. I think that was your fifth possession, Coach, of the half. I think uh, you went uh, 69 yards for the touchdown. That big play was, what, Cato to Boogie Knight for 39 yards? Yeah. And passed to Maverick Wolfley for the touchdown. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a play that we've been working on, um, a play that we haven't uh, executed properly, uh, even at practice up to this point, and um, it was awesome. We spent a lot of time on it this week, and to, to be able to come out there and, and run it to perfection um, was, really, was really exciting for our offense. Well, you had another good drive in that first half, Coach. Uh, Cato with five completions. You got it uh, down close. You go for it on fourth and three at the 36, passing complete to Brandon Lee, though. Yeah, that was, uh, you know, I thought we put a great drive together. Yeah. We got him to a, uh, we got him to a third and four. There's the touchdown. This was a really, yeah. really well executed play. Um, that was uh, a real positive for us. That's um, the second touchdown of the was, season for Maverick Wolf. Yeah, and that, that drive was, you know, about as good an execution as we've had consistently and, you know, through the course of a drive all season long. And it was, it was great to see. He's a big kid. What, 6'3", about 245, 50 pounds. He is, and it means a lot to him. He practices and plays really hard, and, you know, it's great to see him come out and, and, and get, some, uh, get some, some catches and uh, make some big plays for our team. Again, the middle of that Akron defense playing well. That's been strong all season, Coach. Uh, not, not a lot of teams have been able to move right up the middle on you. Yeah, you know, I think, you know, there's, there's been times, uh, you know, where we've played the run really well, certainly the UAB game. Um, you know, I think uh, this, this past week and, and the week before, we were a little bit, you know, we gave up some, some bigger runs. We gave up a number of runs over eight yards um, this past week. So, you know, we got to keep tightening that up. Um, but, you know, like I said, we forced them to third down. We, you know, they put the ball on the ground a number of times for us. And unfortunately, we were only able to come up with the one takeaway yeah. in the interception, but had opportunities uh, to get the ball back for our offense a couple times. Yeah, it was 21 to 7 at the half, Troy leading. You mentioned earlier in the program, Coach, tough to get them off the field. I think they were 12 out of 19 in third down tries. That's, that's big. We they were. were yeah, it's, the it's huge. And, you know, they possessed the ball. Um, you know, we had, we had 11 possessions in the game and only four. Uh, in the second half, right. one full possession in the third quarter, and um, you know when you're down, uh, when you're down 14 at halftime, it's really important, um, you know, that you maximize every opportunity that you have in the second half. And I thought, you know, we came back and answered their score really well, drove down inside yeah. the five, and had a couple, you know, self-inflicted down there that really prevented a score. And uh, we only had the ball two more times that's after right. that. So, um, you know, that's something that we gotta we gotta work on. A lot of freshmen playing football this year for Coach Arthur. We're going to come back and meet some of those young men right after this. The difference with Wentz Financial Group is that we do not have a cookie cutter answer to any of our clients' needs. Every day is completely different in the market and every client situation is unique. We value the opportunity and responsibility to manage the hopes and dreams of our 3,000 customers nationwide. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group. Investment management for your lifetime. The University of Akron is more than a college or campus. It's a connection to the community. To the thousands of opportunities right here in Northeast Ohio. And to the partnerships with employers and organizations. Like the LeBron James Family Foundation, where we connect kids to life-changing possibilities. It's the strength of UA, this city, and these connections. It's where students make an impact on their community and in the world. While still making an impact in the classroom, on the track, in the boardroom, and in my community. That's what makes us the University of Akron. Okay, welcome back to Zips Football Weekly with head coach Tom Arthur. Coach, uh, didn't have a lot of time to recruit when he came in as head coach, but you've brought in a very talented group of freshmen. I know you're proud of those guys. We are. Um, I think uh, a number of our freshmen are playing for us yeah. this year, and they're playing well. Uh, they're playing at a high level, and of course there's you know, going to be some growing pains sure. and some mistakes that they're making, but um, they're out there competing against really good football teams, really good football players, and, and they're holding their own. It's been really good to see. Right now, let's meet some of those young guys who are going to be the key to this football program in the next three or four years. No, I don't think like 
the goal was eventually to start, but I didn't think it was going to come this fast. Like, I was coming prepared just to get some playing time, contribute to the team, do what's best for the team. Um, that was always the plan. And um, after fall camp and after practice, just getting better every day, got more confident and started stepping in, making plays. I definitely believed in myself to uh, push through to earn that role, but I wasn't really focused on trying to exceed everybody else so far. I just wanted to get better and better every day. Uh, it's definitely like a big learning curve. Like it's the game speed is faster. Like you gotta know your opponent. Like just really study the film and know who you're playing. Like know the game plan going in. It's definitely a lot more faster. The game moves a lot more faster. You definitely have to study your playbook and do more on your own to like learn your role. Because in high school, you really just like, you were just out there. You didn't have to do that much to play good. In high school, it's just more like athletic ability. But like now in college, everyone is like athletic, gifted. So now you gotta like, you gotta think more. Like um, Coach Gasser, Coach Dark, like I learned so much like in this past like couple months from the summertime that I never really knew. And like I wish I knew in high school. So it just made everything like easier. The challenging part was definitely the game speed. Like I wasn't Illinois. Like that caught me by surprise. Like first college college start. Like the game speed was really fast. But I think uh, the thing I adjusted to the most was just like pretty much like reading my keys at that point, like just knowing I like, read the guard, the guard tell me everything, lead me to the ball. Most challenging thing is probably like the physicality. Um, I think I just got to get stronger, but athletically I think I can compete with anybody. Definitely have to read like body body language from the older guys. So like if we're not having a dog practice, like I know I have to pick it up for like myself and including the team too. So like, I have to pick it up for like the young guys, like everybody thinks that since I'm a young guy, like I can't contribute leadership wise, but I did. I definitely can. I just gotta learn my ways and like not step on anybody's toes, kind of feel through. Um, I do a lot of listen, listening from the older guys because they're more experienced than me. I'm definitely trying to like increase my leadership roles and like my communication. That's something I need to work on. Alvin Davis, he, um, you know, took took me under his wing and like he taught me. He still teaches me everything. He taught me most of the stuff I know, and he's still teaching me to this day. All I just know is I'm just getting better, and it's only up from here. It definitely like, gives me confidence. Like It shows that if you really work hard, then you can really achieve your goal. So I just need to keep pushing through and like keep pushing it, stay as a starter the rest of my years here. It definitely means a lot to me, you know, because I have, because my family lives in Cleveland, so they can come out to the games and see me play because they never saw me before because I lived in Georgia. but. It's definitely been really valuable to me, and I, I cherish it a lot. Those highlights brought to you by Hilton Akron Fairlawn Hotel. Coach, talk a little bit about the transition from a high school football player, an 18-year-old kid coming in playing against 21 and 22-year-old men. A little bit easier maybe for the skilled guys as opposed to the offensive linemen? I, I think it definitely yeah. is, um, but you know, it, it's, it's challenging, uh, not just from a football perspective, but just life and school sure. and you know, you combine, you know, football into that mix. It's, it's really difficult uh, for these young freshmen, and that's whether they're playing or not. This is the first time that, that they've been away from home, that they're on their own, that they really have to take responsibility sure. and ownership for, uh, for their decisions and, and how they use their time. And, um, you know, to, to realize all that we put on them from a football program, everything that academics is putting on them, um, everything that they have going on at home in their lives. Um, it's just, it's a lot, you know, it can be really stressful. And I think it's important as coaches to always be in tune to that and to, to always, you know, support those young guys and, and really all your players, yeah. um, you know, throughout the, throughout the year. Every athlete wants to play coach, but sometimes it's best to give them that red shirt year to get acclimated to college. Yeah, you know, I think that uh, every situation is different yeah. and, um, you know, there's certainly, uh, you know, individuals who, um, you know, who ideally uh, you, you would want to redshirt and most often you're able to do that. There's some cases where, you know, injuries or circumstances force, sure. um, force that person to play. Um, but, you know, I think, uh, you know, you always want to bring young guys in who are capable of competing right, exactly. right away. And if, if there's a way to preserve their year, um, you know, you definitely do it. But if they can help your team win now and um, they're critical to your success, then I think it's, it's imperative that you play them. Yeah, good group of freshmen here on campus. We'll see a lot more of them in the years to come. We're going to take a break, come out and watch second half highlights right after this. Roman was born with a hole in his heart. But thanks to the experts at SUMA who found the problem and fixed it quickly, he's feeling 26 again. Not 76. Minimally invasive heart procedures, many performed in under two hours. 
Suma Health, vital for getting back in the game and more. Miller Lite is brewed with great taste, only 96 calories and zero grams of sugar. Now that's a combo. Miller Lite, hold true. Miller Lite is brewed for great taste with only 96 calories and zero grams of sugar. So when one's done, it's the perfect time to start another. Miller Lite, hold true. Okay, welcome back to Zips Football Weekly with head coach Tom Arthur. At halftime, it's Saturday's game against Troy at Infocision Stadium. The Zips down 21 to 7. Let's go back and pick up second half highlights brought to you as always by ESPN+. Plus. Coach, they get the second half kickoff and I think they were right down the field and make it, what, a 28 to 7 game? They did. And that's, you know, that's one area uh, where I think all season long we've really struggled defensively, um, you know, on that first possession of the game and truly offensively as well. Um, you know, we are, you know, you're in, a, you're in a close game. You're feeling really good on both sides of the ball. Um, you know, going in at halftime offensively, we felt like, hey, we moved the ball up and down the field and, um, you know, just need to eliminate some, some self-inflicteds and um, we'll be all right. Um, and then we come out and we give up a long drive for a touchdown. Offense comes right back, yeah. answers back here um, with some big plays, um, getting down inside the five-yard line. Um, and unfortunately, we, you know, we kind of self-destruct. Um, you know, once we get to, to second and goal at the five and, and come away with nothing. And that was a really big point in that game it where, was. hey, you know, you come back and you answer and you're 28-14. Um, you know, you send a message that, hey, we're in this thing for the long haul. And, um, you know, unfortunately, we didn't, uh, we didn't get it done. You know, the big plays on that drive, Coach, uh, Cato 49 yards to Nate Stewart and Brandon Lee took it down to the two. As you said, that penalty would look like we we're going to take it in. Yeah, you know, it, we, we felt really good about uh, our plays uh, down there inside the five. Felt like our call on second down had a great shot and, um, you know, felt really good about where we were at. And, you know, it just it, it becomes a tough situation when all of a sudden you're, you're third and second and goal from the 10, third and goal from the 10, um, fourth and goal from the 10. And um, that's just that's an area where, you know, we've been pretty solid uh, yeah. offensively in the red zone. And unfortunately, we were we were 0 for 1 uh, this past week. Your team's down, coach, but uh, you can see that they're still playing hard defensively and trying to get things moving offensively. Yeah, you know, I, I think, and, and that's that's a credit to our team and and, and our players. Uh, I think week in and week out, we've we found ourselves in some less than favorable situations, and and our guys have responded and, and played, you know, through the end of the game, and they come back week in and week out, um, doing you know practicing really well. Yeah, we talked to you after the game, Coach, and again, we talked about the defense not giving up the big play, which we've seen in the past. So that's got to right. be a key now for the rest of the season. No more big plays. No more big plays, and go. then we don't want to, you know, we don't want to give up, you know, little chunk runs, four, five, yeah. six, seven yards, you know, here and there as well, because they both hurt you. You know, they both hurt you, and it's just starting to put everything together. And I think there's, you know, there's things as coaches that we've talked about and say, okay, well, how, you know, how, you know, we, we, we go into it and, and, and going with a plan to limit the big plays. How do we... Um, you know, how do we affect the run? We go into the plan, you know, killing the run game, but we give up explosive yeah. plays. So I think it's just finding that balance within our team, um, and you know, being uh, you know, being being a solid uh, a solid group all around the board. There you go. Hey, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll announce our player of the week and our big play of the week. So don't go away. We're back right after this. The difference with Wentz Financial Group is that we do not have a cookie cutter answer to any of our clients' needs. Every day is completely different in the market, and every client situation is unique. We value the opportunity and responsibility to manage the hopes and dreams of our 3,000 customers nationwide. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. Okay, right now it's time to name our player of the game and our play of the game. And I thought senior Alvin Davis, I thought a Fort Lauderdale, Florida coach. He's our player of the game. 17 tackles, 12 of those 
unassisted. He was all over the place. He was uh, flying around the field, um, you know, played a really good game. And, you know, there are some plays, you know, some really difficult open field tackles. And, you know, Alvin, you know, showed up and, and played with great technique and made some, some, some great tackles for us in space that prevented some of those explosive plays that we talked about. 5'9", about a 170 pounds. He made a couple big hits, Coach, a couple right in front of you. He popped a couple receivers and hit them hard. He, he sure did. <laughs> um, you know, he is a, he's extremely competitive. I mean, you can see him there pulling, uh, pulling the running back from Troy, you know, out off the pile, um, keeping him out of the end zone. And, you know, you, you love to see guys that play with that type of intensity and, and that type of purpose. He makes some great reads, too, coming in from that safety position to come up and help uh, on support of the run. He does. Um, I think that's uh, I think that's one of Alvin's you know greatest strengths, and I think that a lot of times you look at Alvin, you look at his body type, and you you, you recognize his coverage ability, um, but people don't give him credit for the type of tackler he yeah. is and how physical um, he plays the game, how physical he plays blocks, um, and I think that that really it, it separates Alvin um, in a lot of ways, and we're you know really really thankful to have him on our on our team. How about the play of the game? And it was a defensive player at the end that came up with the big play with Troy leading seven to nothing early in the game. Senior defensive back Sean Featherstone out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, picked off a Troy pass in the end zone, returned at 40 yards, all the way back to the Akron 40 yard line. Big play, coach, and that's yeah. the kind you need to really get. Look at the look at the excitement on the sidelines. Oh, that, that was huge. That was huge. You know, you you come out. We turned it over right before that drive, and to be able to come out and get a stop and get a takeaway, and then to return it the way we did was was unbelievable. And if you watch our defense, I mean, certainly Sean makes a great play, um, but if you watch the rest of the players, like going through their interception protocol and getting upfield and looking for blocks, like it's unbelievable. It's just a really really well executed play and gave our team great momentum and. Um, you know, that's, that's something to build on. There's that takeaway pencil, too. would like to see more of that in the uh, future, Coach. Absolutely. Absolutely. We saw, we, the ball was on the ground a few times and thought we were going to pull it out. Uh, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll take advantage next time. I know you're proud of Sean Featherstone. He came back from a nasty injury to play. I think his six-year eligibility, he's really playing well for you. He is. Uh, Sean is, is he's a rock. He's consistent. Uh, he is, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's sore. You know, yeah. he's... Uh, He's played a lot of football and he's overcome a lot of injuries and um, you know you get him through practice week in and week out and you know get him to the game and he goes out and plays at a high level uh, consistently and you know somebody that, that we rely on so much not just for his ability on the field but his leadership um, has been outstanding through the season. Coach right now we're going to hop on a plane and fly east on Friday out to uh, UMass to take on the Minutemen of UMass and even though they haven't won much, Coach, they have been able to put a lot of points on the board. They, I think, are averaging about 23 points a game, which means they can score a little bit. They can. I um, mean, they've, they've played a tough schedule. They've played some good football teams, and, uh, you know, they're, uh, they're certainly capable of making big plays on offense. They're certainly capable of making plays on defense. And um, I think what this game is going to come down to is, is execution. It's going to come down to who has the best week of practice and who's able to go out there into the competitive uh, environment and execute the calls uh, to the best of their ability. And I think the team that does that is going to put themselves in position. To you be mentioned successful. the schedule they played, Coach. They played uh, Rutgers out of the Big Ten. They played Charlotte and Southern Illinois. So they played some tough competition. They have. They've also played Coastal Carolina. Right. Um, you right. know, some, some tough teams. Uh, so, uh, you know, they, they've, uh, they'll be ready to play, uh, as will we. Um, it'll, be a, it'll be a great battle uh, for, for both programs, and we're excited to, to get started. Read about him, Coach. They've got a, a kick returner named Isaiah Rogers that brought one back 75 yards last week, so you got to watch out for him. Uh, we, uh, we told the guys today, you know, he's one of the best, uh, best returners in the country. Um, he is dangerous, um, and we are going to have to be uh, extremely sharp um, and execute not only the kick, but execute, you know, in terms of, of, of running down the field and, um, you know, making plays, making tackles in open space because he is an electric player who can take it the distance anytime he touches it. Exactly. Hopefully we'll be back next week talking about a big win over UMass. The next home game for the Zips will be against Kent State. We'll talk more about that in future weeks. But for head coach Tom Arth, I'm Joe Dunn. Thanks for watching. We're back next week with more Zips Football Weekly. And always remember, go Zips. Zips Football Weekly with Tom Arth, presented by Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime, hosted by Joe Dunn. Contributing partners include Summa Health, it's your health, let's own it together. Miller Lite, it's Miller time. Hilton Akron Fairlawn, proud to be the host hotel of Zips Football. And the Spaghetti Warehouse, famous for its 15 layer lasagna.
This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield IMG College. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of Learfield IMG College.